Proper motion is an object's motion along the sky relative to the distant stationary background celestial objects and is measured from one particular point in space. Here we're looking at Bernard's star on our left. If you take a look at where it is in 1985, and we can trace its path down through 1995, 2000, 2005, and it's moving in that direction where the arrow is indicating. That is its proper motion, which I will give the symbol mu. Now, proper motion is an object's motion along the sky relative to the distant stationary background celestial objects. If you look closely in the image, you see a bunch of background objects. Now, these objects appear stationary, even though they probably do move a little bit over time, but they're so far away from us, they're very distant, that they appear stationary background celestial objects. Now, proper motion is measured from one particular point in space. Let's take a look at the sketch in the middle. The measurement point is from the sun. We want to find the distance d to the particular event or celestial object, and we're going to label that d. Now, this object, in this particular case, has a proper motion that is perpendicular to d, so I'm going to draw a right angle in here. And then we have to draw the hypotenuse in of our right triangle. This angle between D and the hypotenuse, I'm going to label it as alpha. It's our angle alpha. So alpha is an angle. So it has units of arc minutes, arc seconds, or degrees. Now proper motion, mu, is how much is the change in the angle over time. And I'm going to label time with a T. So the units are sometimes measured in degrees per second, or it could be arc minutes per second, or it could be arc seconds. Usually it's arc seconds per second and the arc second is given the two tick symbol, and time usually is in seconds. So those are your proper motion units. Degrees per second, arc minutes per second, or arc seconds per second, but remember it's just an angle measurement over a time measurement. So it could be any time unit, it could be any angle, any angle unit. Now keep in mind, I said that the object's motion along the sky. If you take a look at a celestial sphere, put yourself on the celestial sphere and you're looking at a star on the celestial sphere, you see that the celestial sphere is curved. Angle is also curved. Therefore, proper motion is also a curvature. Let's put that in a different color because it's so important. Proper motion is a curvature along the sky. It's the measurement of its proper motion along the celestial sphere. So it is an angle measurement over time. That's what we mean by proper motion.